In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install a car seat using a locking clip to keep the seat belt tight. Locking clip installations are challenging and usually require two people. Therefore, when possible, we recommend doing one of the following to avoid needing a locking clip. One, install the car seat with the lower anchors, latch. Or two, select a car seat that has a seatbelt locking device built in. Or three, use the seatbelt's own locking feature if it has one. First, let me explain what a locking clip is and does. Most car seats come with one, but not all. The locking clip is a metal device that goes on the seatbelt. It only goes on a shoulder and lap belt. And basically it turns this shoulder and lap belt into just a lap belt in that my lap portion is a fixed length. The shoulder portion is loose until you slam on the brakes and the shoulder belt will lock and take over. So for installing the car seat, what we need to do is figure out how short or long the lap portion needs to be to keep this child's car seat tight. One other really important thing is where the locking clip is located. The locking clip must go right next to the latch plate. The latch plate is the part with the silver tongue. The locking clip can be up to about an inch and a half away, but not farther than that. The other thing is one trick when it comes to buckling the seat belt back in, it's helpful to have an extra person help you with this. They're gonna take one hand and make a number two, grab the buckle from underneath. In this car, it's hard because there's casing around the buckle, but usually this works. Grab the underside of the buckle and pull it up as hard as you can and use their thumbs on the top of the latch plate to squeeze the belt together into the buckle. So I'm gonna take my locking clip off and walk you through the installation. First, set your car seat down. Make sure you've read the instruction manual to your child's car seat. Now, route the seat belt through the proper belt path. In this car seat, the rear facing belt path is under the child's legs, which is usual. Make sure you've also read the manual about where to place the seat belt in relation to the child's crotch buckle. Once you've done that, it's often helpful if the seatbelt has its own locking mode, which is one where if you pull it slowly to the end and then let it back in, hear that ratcheting? That's the seatbelt's own locking mode. It's helpful to use that at first, and I'll show you why. The reason we're not gonna use the seatbelt's own locking mode as the means of keeping this car seat tight is that because all the tension is upwards in the shoulder belt, on a lot of rear facing car seats, all that tension starts to tilt the car seat on its side. It keeps tilting, 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 and it won't straighten out. So I'm gonna show you how to use a locking clip. You're gonna come from behind the seat or wherever you're gonna be applying pressure. Rear facing seats like pressure here. Pull the cover aside. It's best to always pull the shoulder belt, just the top belt, from inside the car seat rather than from what I would call this, which is outside the seat. So take just the top belt, which is the shoulder belt, inside the seat, apply pressure to the seat. All seats like to be wiggled side to side as you pull. And then here, because I'm using the seatbelt's locking mode for a minute, pull all the slack up to here. Now it's time for me to put the locking clip on. But in order to get it on, I have to have my seatbelt unbuckled. But if I just unbuckle it right now, I'll lose all of the work I've done of guesstimating how tight the belt needs to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands underneath both belts and I'm gonna hold together the lap and shoulder belt, pinching them just like the locking clip is going to do in a minute. Unbuckle the belt, keep pinching the seat belt together and you're going to put the locking clip on. Starts from underneath. You should see four prongs on the top and a bar on the bottom when you're done. If you have the belt in its locking mode, you must Take the belt out of the locking mode. Make sure it is out. See how I can pull it in and out. It's definitely out of the locking mode. Thread it back through. And now you're gonna have someone else come and help you buckle it. As you start to get the seatbelt lined up, it's often helpful to tip the car seat away from the buckle and then gradually straighten it out. 